It's amazing. You mean an old fixer-upper. <laughs> You're handy. That's one of the reasons I married you. I've always wanted to live in an old southern mansion. Yeah, well, welcome to East Country Bumpkin. Let's go inside. Well, let's go get a couple boxes first. Okay. You're the Avengers, begin at the top of the stairs and to the left. Now go to your room. <laughs> I'll call you when lunch is ready. Oh, Midnight, how could I ever move without you? Hello there, Midnight. Midnight, are you talking to me? Probably just the wind. These old houses are always so drafty. We don't have much. We'll have to go to the store later. How's peanut butter and jelly? Good. I want you to go play outside. It's beautiful out. But Mom, I was playing with Midnight upstairs. Lily. Mom, Midnight wants to know if she has to wear a leash. Lily, are you talking to that stuffed animal again? I'm Eliza. I was just feeding Star. Star? She's my pretend horse. Oh, I understand. I live in that old cotton house back that way. Where do you live? You live in that house? Is something wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing really that I want to talk about. I like your necklace. Oh, thanks. My dad got it from his great-grandfather's dad. I like your dog. This is Midnight. She's like a pretend pet, too. Do you have any stuffed animals? No. I really wish I did. Well, I can give you one. I have about a hundred of them. Really? You mean it? Come back to my house and you can take your pick. Come back to your house? Yeah, come on. I like the dog, please. Here you go. I named it Lucy, but you can name it something else. Eliza, don't be afraid. I've been waiting for this chance to meet you. I want to help you. No, no, Lily, did you hear that? Hear what? You didn't hear it? No. My stuffed animals can talk, though. You can hear them if you have this weird sort of special sense. No, no, I promise I heard it. My pants were right. I, I gotta go. Please, where are you going? Mildred, you have no business here. I wanted to greet our new guests. You know, show them a little bit of my southern hospitality. Mildred, you were my wife once, for heaven's sake. If you ever loved me, leave these people alone. Yes, I did love you once. But you never gave me a son or a daughter. You never gave me no heir. So what good is love? I gave you a good life. I gave you this plantation. Oh yes, you deeded me this overgrown plantation. You didn't leave me everything, did you? Mildred, you be honorable. The old times are gone. We need to move on. Not without a fight! Stop! Stop me! Never! Stop! What 
in the world is that girl doing up there? Hi, I'm Lily. I'm at Eliza and she dropped the dog that I gave her. Come on in. Thanks. I really did hear something. I just don't get it. There's nothing scary about this place. Lily, I know you can hear me. I know how you talk to your animals. What do you want? I want to talk to you. First of all, how do you know my name? I have been waiting so long, Lily, for someone like you. I don't believe in ghosts, only talking animals. I want you to help me. It's about Eliza. What about her? Long ago, her great-great-great-grandfather was my slave. He was a good man and a hard worker. And one day he escaped, and my wife Mildred was livid. She made sure that he was captured and brought to her. And then she gave him the barrel roll. What is that? I've never heard of such a thing. She ordered some of the slaves to pound nails into a large barrel. And then she made his own relatives put him in the barrel and roll it down a hill. Lily, it hit a rock and he was killed. His name was Elijah. I wrote a will and in that will I gave Eliza's ancestors $20,000 in gold. But then I died and my wife Mildred found the will and she hid it. What do I care about that? The will, Lily, the will. It can help Eliza and her family. You see, her father's sick. Are you sure? He looks fine to me. Did you see the mark on his neck? I thought those were just scars from chicken pox or something. No, Lily. He's very sick. And somewhere hidden in this house is a way to save him. So you want me to help Eliza and her family? But Lily, I must tell you, there is another ghost in this house. My wife, Mildred, and she is dangerous. You must steer clear of her. Please help me. I'll try. Good, Lily. Good. Go find the wheel. What you really should be looking for is Midnight. She's such a nice dog. Where is she? If you don't stop looking for the wheel, you'll never see her again. <gasps> It's hard when you move and things get lost, but we'll find her. Well, we'll look, okay? But no more talk about ghosts. They don't exist. But William is a ghost, and I'm helping him. So William's a, a real ghost, huh? He's just he's hanging around here? I knew you wouldn't believe me. No, honey, no. Hey, Lily. What's wrong? We have a problem. You know your father's sick. How did you know he was sick? I don't know if you're going to believe me, but this ghost called William Cotton told me about it. He told me a way I could help. You've met him? I saw him in your window. You believe me? This is what he said. Looking for something? You know what we want. Where is midnight? I'll give it back to you. Just right behind the fireplace. I don't believe you. Oh, yes, girls. You see, we built a secret room back there during the Civil War to hide from the marauding Yankees. Sherman and his thieves plundered this house, but they never did find us. Pull it back, you'll find it. There's the room. It's midnight. I'll go with you. You shouldn't delve into the past, or it might haunt you! <laughs> Dad! Mom! 
Send us Elijah, please. Let him be with us, Lord. Elijah, I need something only you can do. I need you to bless this barrel. That's the barrel I died in. I'm sorry. That awful day. But Elijah, it's it's your tears. Only your tears have power over Mildred's evil. That's a bottom rung be on top now. <laughs> yes, old friend. Bottom rung be on top now. <laughs> What a ghost is Eliza? What is that hole? Lily, have you been tearing up the house? No, there's a ghost in there. It's got Eliza. What? Where is she? Now get out of this room. Let me go through first. Do that. Oh my God! <laughs> Ghost, she's captured my family. I can help you, but you must do exactly as I say. I see that way. I see the hole. Yes. This is Mildred's tomb. I am so sorry we didn't believe you. And we are so glad you're okay. Mom, Dad, this is the ghost of William Cotton. My wife and I built this house long ago. We made that secret room to be our safe spot, but it looks like Mildred's been using it as her hideaway all these years. Well, guys, we've got to look for the will. Yeah, yeah, look in the bureau. That's a good idea. Oh, it's locked. Wait, you can use my key. Yes. It might just work. Okay. Wait, these things come out. It's the will. It's the will. Yes. It has the family's name in it. We've got to go tell our parents. 